Hi! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the limits involving the sine function. Okay, so let's consider a portion of a unit circle here. Um, kunyari, we have an angle theta, a ganon. And then, ang mangyayari dito sa ilo, let's say we have an, a theta. So we form a triangle by making a projection from the tip of this line segment perpendicular to the x-axis. So, eto, eto yan, di ba? Um, this is opposite of the the theta. So, when we solve for the sine theta, di ba dapat opposite over hypotenuse? Kaso, ang hypotenuse natin is 1. They, we are aware of, aware of that because this is, um, the line segment is measured as 1, the radius of the unit circle. So, this is equal to the opposite lang. Okay. Suppose we want to extend this uh, line segment. So, kunyari, i-extend natin yan in such a way na yung tip ng line segment na ini-extend natin, if we project that perpendicular to the x-axis, ito yung point of intersection sa circle at ng x-axis din. Okay. Now, we are interested on what is the measure of this line here. Ito, line segment here. So, di ba ito yung opposite niya? Okay. And then, if we are, di ba sa trigonometry natin, if we are solving for the tangent theta, so, bali, ito na yung panibagong triangle natin. Yan. This is equal to um, opposite over adjacent. Tama. Now, our opposite, ito siya. Yan. However, our adjacent naman, this is a radius of the unit circle. So, da, bali, eto siya, in this case, is equal to this. Yan. Ganyan. So, ang mangyayari, this is 1 lang yan. So, this is opposite. So, by the way, since we are actually dealing with the um, first quadrant, i-absolute value ko na yung sign. Eto naman, i-absolute value ko to. Now, um, how do we get the area of this triangle? So, kunin muna natin yung area dito. Yan. So, di ba, yung area niya is 1 half base times height. So, 1 half base times height. Tapos, alam natin yung base naman. Walang problema pala. Yung base natin is 1. So, this becomes 1 half. 1. Yung height natin is sine theta. Absolute value. Yan. And then, what if, um, aside from that, we're interested. So, Aside from that, we're interested of the area na kasali ito. Yan. So, bali, ito, kasali ito. So, that means we're including the portion here. Okay. So, di ba um, the area parang triangle with a curve? Di ba ito siya? Um, we have a pi. This is a portion of the entire 2, uh, 2 pi. Tapos, multiply natin yan ng pi. So, the answer is absolute value of theta over 2 ba? And then, how about if we are interested on the, the larger triangle, this one? So, bali kasali na to. So, area. Okay. So, that means your area natin is equal to 1 half base times height and in this case, yung 1 half, yung base natin dito is 1. Tama ba? So, 1. So, we have. And then, yung height kasi natin dito is that absolute ba value of tangent theta. Okay. So, that means this is the smallest triangle. This is the, sm uh, this is the smaller area and this is the largest area. So, ang mangyayari, we would have the inequality as sine 
um, theta, absolute value over 2, less than or equal to absolute value of theta over 2, less than or equal to absolute value of tangent theta all over 2. Yan. So, multiplying both sides by 2, ang mangyayari, we have this. Yan. Pero, yung tangent theta sa trigonometry, that is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So, papalitan ko yan. Ang mangyayari, we have absolute value yan, ha? So, this is absolute value of sine theta over absolute value of cosine theta. And then, if I divide both sides by absolute value of sine theta, so, yan. Kung i-divide ko ito, magiging 1. This 1 becomes absolute value of theta over absolute value of sine theta divided by 1 over, uh, sorry, less than or equal, rather. 1 abs over absolute value of cosine theta. And, this is equal to, if I take the reciprocal, di ba ang mangyayari? 1 is greater than or equal to sin, absolute value of sine theta. Yan, over absolute value of theta, greater than or equal to cosine theta. Yan, absolute value. Now, balik tayo dun sa, ano, sa portion na yun. Di ba, ano kasi, we're actually taking the, ano, the, the limit as the theta approaches zero. So, bali pa ganun siya. Yung direction niya pa ganun, tapos pa ganun. Either on both sides, kaya nag absolute value tayo. But since we are dealing with the first quadrant, pwede ko siyang tanggalin. Ang mangyayari, this becomes 1 greater than or equal to sine theta over theta. Ito naman greater than or equal to cosine theta. Kasi nasa positive axis naman siya eh. Okay, so taking the limit of both sides, ang mangyayari, we have, di ba, this is the limit of 1, so limit of a constant is 1. So we have... 1 greater than or equal to the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0, which is um, greater than or equal to limit of cosine theta as theta approaches 0 is 1. So, therefore, by squeeze theorem, ang totoo pala niyan, the limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 is 1. So, to summarize this presentation, ang mangyayari, we have this theorem. The limit of sine theta over theta as theta approaches 0 is 1. Okay, so let's consider this for example. What is the limit of sine 7x over sine 2x as x approaches 0. Okay. Using that theorem, kasi meron na tayong theorem eh, na-derive na natin yun mula sa ano, illustration kanina. Di ba, I can write this as limit of um, sine 7x over 7x. So, nagmumultiply ako ng 7x dyan. All over sine 2x over 2x times 2x. So, parang nagmumultiply ako para ma-preserve natin yung equ uh, equality ng expression na yan. So, x approaches 0. Pero maka-cancel kasi natin yung x dito eh. So, this is a constant lang naman. So, by the previous theorem, if you have checked on my previous video... This becomes, ano siya? Ang mangyayari kasi papasok si limit eh. So, this is limit of x um, of 7 times sine 7x over 7x as x approaches 0. And the limit, over all over the limit of 2 times sine 2x over 2x as x approaches 0. And tapos kasi constant na lang to eh. Tingnan mo, 7 at 2, constant na lang yan. So, ang mangyayari, um, we have 7 times the limit 
of sine 7x over 7x as x approaches 0 all over 2 times the limit of sine 2x all over 2x as x approaches 0. So, di ba ano siya? Di ba magkapariho na yung ano? Parang isa na lang, isa hang theta na lang to theta, theta. So, that's similar to the uh, format of theorem 1. Sibig sabihin, this is 1, this is 1. So, what you left is 7 over 2. That's it. So, another example. Define the function f to be this, sin x. Okay. So, is f continuous at 0? Okay, how do we solve that? Diba yung, ano, yung format ng on how to solve for continuity of function at a point is una um, e f of the point exists tapos yung limit naman of f as x approaches c exist and then pag nakuha mo na lahat make sure that they are equal okay so yan yung drop natin so note that uh, f of 0 ano yan uh, that is sine of 0 what is sine of 0 guys that's 0 tama so how about if we take limit of sin x as x approaches 0. Hindi natin pa alam. Kaso, uh, di ba mangyayari? Pwede tong limit of sin x uh, times x over x as x approaches 0. Pwede ba? Tama na, no? Kasi, nagmumultiply lang ako ng 1. So, this is equal to 1. So, mangyayari, this becomes lim limit of sin x over x times x. So, bali, kinukuha mo yung limit of a product. And then, di ba limit of a product from the previous limit theorems that I discussed on the previous video, magiging limit of sin x over x as x approaches 0 times the limit of x as x approaches 0. Okay na sana to that is this is equal to 1. Kaso, limit of identity function, ano lang yan eh? 0 yan eh. Kasi as x approaches 0. So, the answer is 0. So, kanina, since yung f of 0 mo, which is equal to 0, and that's equal to the limit of sin x as x approaches 0, we say that f is continuous at zero. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification about this, let me know. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you guys and have a great day.